Hi, this is Chris Young, and today we're going to demonstrate how to use Microsoft Phone Link to attach your iPhone to your Windows 11 PC. It makes it really handy that you can click on a pop-up every time that your phone rings, and you don't have to grab the phone. It's especially useful for people like me who have a disability, and it's difficult to switch from operating your PC to operating your phone and back again. You can also call up the app and make phone calls from the app and it will connect to your phone and have your phone dial the number for you. The one thing it won't do is if you call someone and it says press 1 for this or press 2 for that, you can't do that from the computer. You have to do that on the phone itself. But you can send text messages, receive text messages. You can transfer files back and forth between your phone and your computer. Haven't tried that yet. Maybe we'll get into that before the video is over with. The first time I set it up, I was able to do it all using my switch control features on my iPhone and whatever assistive technology I'm using to operate my PC. I didn't need any outside help. Then I decided to make this video and I uninstalled and disconnected phone link and when I tried to connect it back in I couldn't do it on my own. There's a place where it asks you to point your phone at the screen to pick up a QR code. Then there's a link that says if you don't want to use the QR code click here and when I did that the first time I was able to get everything uh, paired and synchronized. When I tried to do it the second time for this video it didn't work. So I had to have a friend hold up my phone, scan the QR code, and go from there. So anyway, here's how you set up Microsoft Phone Link with an iPhone. I've not tried it with Android, but it looks like the procedure is probably pretty much the same. Here goes. We're going to call up a browser and search for Phone Link. And let's pick this one here, Requirements and Setup. I'll put that link in the description so you don't have to search for it. So now we're going to scroll down and you see you have a choice of Android or iOS. We're going to pick iOS and we're going to scroll down some more. If the phone link app doesn't come up, uh, you can go to the Windows App Store. Again, we're given a choice between Android and iPhone and we pick iPhone. Now here's where it shows you the QR code. And there's a place that says continue manually without a QR code. And I tried that the first time and it worked. But when I tried to do it when I'm making this video, it didn't work. So you can try either way. I almost forgot. You have to go to the Apple App Store and install this program on your iPhone. I provided a link in the description. So let's call up a screencast of my iPhone so we can see what's going on. Call up the camera. My friend points the camera at the QR code. We get a button that says pair your devices. And she clicked on that button for me. And there we get a thing that says pair your devices. Now I'm operating the iPhone with switch control. I click on open. It calls up this app. It says continue. So I'll click on continue. And now it says it's looking for my PC. Now it wants to pair. But it wants a confirmation code. So I go down here. Click on the phone link app. There's the confirmation code. They match. On the iPhone. I get pair. On the PC, I click on pair. And it's working on it. There we go. And we're here. And we want to allow notifications. That's handy. Now it's giving me the option to share files between my iPhone and my PC. And that sounds like fun. So we're going to sign in. On the PC, we're going to sign in to my Microsoft account and then on the iPhone we're going to sign in to my Microsoft account over there. 
So I'm going to edit out some of the details of me signing in. A few moments later. While I was logging in to my Microsoft account on the iPhone, the PC side timed out. So now we're going to sign in on the iPhone, and then on the PC side, we'll have to click on Try Again. We're going to allow notifications, and now we're going to follow these instructions on the right side. Now we click on Got It, and there's an the info screen. We don't need, we at home, go to Settings, and then Bluetooth. Then we're going to look at the blue dot next to the name of my computer. But I know from experience that you can't do that in item mode. We have to switch our switch control to scanning mode. So that's what we're doing here. And we click the blue dot. Now it's got a bunch of options. We're going to turn on message notifications. We're going to sync contacts. On the PC side, we click continue and click continue again. Or close. And here's the app. Tell it to start when we start up. Got to maximize the window and take a look at it. Here you see a list of my recent calls in this tab. And you click on the other tab and it shows you my recent text messages. Now we've called up the screencast and my friend is going to give me a phone call. Dragging this over because I know where the pop-up's going to come. Watch the lower right of the screen as the caller comes in. There's a pop-up window. I click on use mobile device. And now I can talk to my friend Tony. And there's a, a pop over there where I can hang up. And we hang up. Now I'm going to call her back. I have options. I could type in her phone number on the keypad on the right. Or I could type her name in the contacts search box right above that. But I'm just going to pick her number out of the recent calls. So now we click on her name and click on the callback button and it's going to dial the phone. Now I should note it uses the phone's speaker and microphone. It does not use the PC speaker and microphone. All this is doing is dialing the phone for you. And now I hang up and there we go. Now if you've closed the app, here's how you reopen it. Down here in your tray, there's a phone link, and you click on that, and it reopens. I usually keep my phone on vibrate, but when you use phone link, the ringtone comes up on your PC, even if you have your phone on vibrate. So I'm going to show you how to turn that off. It took a lot of research to figure this one out. Click on Start, and go to Settings, and then go to Systems, and notifications. Now look for calls via phone link. There's a switch that says play a sound when a notification arrives. And you can turn that off and on to turn off and on your ringer. There's one more feature we want to demonstrate and that's the ability to transfer files between your PC and your phone, and vice versa. I was only able to get it to work from the phone to the PC. I couldn't get it to work the other way. But if I figure it out, I'll post another video. Also, my screen sharing program doesn't work when you're showing photos. So I had to put my camera pointing at my phone to show you what's going on. Here's a photo of me and my nephew and the model airplane we've been building. If you look at the bottom for the sharing options, uh, you can see link to Windows. And we're going to select that and then transfer. 
In the lower right corner, a pop-up appears showing the transfer. And then it gives you option to open or to show in folder. Here's the file in Windows Explorer. And I call it up and there's the photo on my PC. To transfer files from the PC to the phone, you're supposed to be able to right click on them in Windows Explorer and click on share. But as you can see, I don't have a share option. I tried send to Bluetooth device and click on iPhone and this does not work either. That's all for now. Visit us on the web at these addresses. And many thanks to my nurse, Tony Howard, for helping me with this video.